So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to go over two very interesting PlayStation 5 stories with one being a very controversial one right now and that is how Dirt 5 is running on PlayStation 5 over the Series X which is kind of making Xbox's power narrative conversation not look so good for the time being and we'll talk about that. Beyond that we'll also look into the variable refresh rate capability coming to the PlayStation 5 as well. First let me know if you're surprised seeing multiple third-party games at this point running better on PlayStation 5 than Series X. I'm curious where everyone's mindset is on this conversation because Microsoft has been pushing the power narrative pretty heavily and this has surprised a lot of people. So comment below, are you surprised by games running better on PlayStation 5 or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, PlayStation 5 getting variable refresh rate. Now, variable refresh rate, as I understand it, is just matching the refresh rate on the TV to what is being provided by the input device. So if the PlayStation 5 is pushing 120 frames per second, then dips to 100, that refresh rate changes on the TV to match. The benefit of this is to avoid things like screen tearing and stutter. It provides for a smoother, better looking result on screen overall. PS5 currently doesn't have this feature and Series X does, but the PlayStation 5 won't be without it for much longer as Sony's FAQ points out that PlayStation 5 hardware supports variable refresh rate through HDMI 2.1. After a future system software update, PlayStation 5 owners will be able to use the VRR feature of compatible TVs when playing games that support VRR. I wanted to cover this because it very much relates to the next conversation conversation as well and it seems that we won't have to wait long for this feature to make its way to the PlayStation 5 hopefully with 1440p support as well for people who really want that. Now Diving into the second story of the video, the significant graphics detail jump on PlayStation 5 over the Series X. So more and more now we're seeing this graphics and power advantage narrative that Xbox has been pushing since the announcement of the Series X look a bit worse and worse as more and more third party games are coming out and simply just run better on PlayStation 5. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was the last big test and now it seems the focus is on Dirt 5. Dirt 5, the same game. Game, one of the first games we actually saw running on the Series X. I remember the conversation being that games will run slightly better on Series X. Many were accepting of that even on the PlayStation side and were expecting it. So it's weird that we're here now, in terms of Dirt 5, I suggest you watch Digital Foundry's video on it, but I watched it already and took down some notes. Both the Series X and PlayStation 5 run dynamic 4K, and this has been more consistently the case on third-party games as we've seen so far. And beyond this point, this is where things seem to be better on PlayStation 5. The, games ha the game has three modes, image quality, resolution, and FPS mode. In the image quality mode, Digital Foundry informs us that the PlayStation 5 holds better textures, on average has higher resolutions, and slightly better FPS as well using this mode. So with having better detailed objects in the world and slightly better FPS, the pixel count on PlayStation 5 seems to be more consistently held at high resolutions over the Series X according to Digital Foundry. They do state that both games have screen tearing but on Series X VRR support smooths this out. Again it's currently not featured on the PlayStation 5 but as I stated earlier it's coming in a future update. In the resolution mode, Digital Foundry kept it simple here and pretty much stated that the FPS and visuals looked great on both consoles. Now the FPS mode is where things get a bit tricky. On PlayStation 5, detail level looks significantly better than on Series X. Grass, sand, car details just look better on PlayStation 5 over the Series X. Digital Foundry reports that on PlayStation 5 it seems to be using the same detail level that's used on the resolution mode where on Series X the detail level takes a bit of a dive. They provide an explanation here for the difference by saying it's possibly related to a bug in the tools as Microsoft is using the GDK now that's meant to be used to deploy games across PC, Xbox One, Series X, and S, which I've talked about before here on the channel, and this does make sense, and this could very well be the case, but it does not change the fact that Microsoft pushed power, pushed graphics, pushed performance, and the results when compared directly with the PlayStation 5, the on paper weaker console, it doesn't line up. 
There is one advantage here in this mode for the Series X. It seems to be able to hold 120 FPS more consistently than on PlayStation 5, but this is because the PlayStation 5 version is pushing out much higher detail levels than on Series X. They also point out that these dips are on specific tracks and the PlayStation 5 is able to hold 120 on about 90% of the tracks in this game. That's 120 with much higher detail than on Series X. I feel this could get more interesting in a year's time, but if PlayStation 5 games are still outperforming Series X to this level, by that time, Xbox is going to have to answer for it. I'm pretty sure fans are going to ask for an answer. And for everyone who keeps saying, wait until developers get used to the Series X, it'll get better. Of course, that's going to be the case, but the same can be said for the PlayStation 5. It's not like it's just going to stay the way it is now <laughs> and never get better. But again, once developers get used to the new Xbox developer tool, Tools, this conversation will get more heated and I'm interested to see the outcomes then. But you guys let me know how long you think PlayStation 5 will still outperform Xbox on third party games until they catch up. Will it be a few months, a year, more so? Let me know down in the comments below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with the power of PlayStation. We've used this one before, but it fits perfectly this time around. If you're impressed with the power that we've seen come out of the PlayStation 5, destroy the comment section with the power of PlayStation. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.